Hey everybody, no new transit build video for today. We have been super busy and we need to do a bit of catching up. So how about an update? We uh, just got back from Open Roads Fest over the weekend and the shop, as you might be able to see, is a absolute wreck, but we had a blast over the weekend. Uh, last Wednesday, we rolled out of here out of Steamboat Springs and drove up and over Teton Pass. We went a pretty route through Stanley by the Sawtooths and all that kind of stuff and ended up at McCall, Idaho for Open Roads Fest on what day was that? Thursday. So got all checked in and we had a great weekend. So it was, uh, there, how many vans were there? Like. It's like three or 400 yeah. vans. And it was just a big get together. There were a few vendors, uh, we were sponsoring the event. And so we had a tent right outside of like the main tent. And uh, first night we were there, we had a big happy hour kind of deal and had a lot of people come by. And I know we had a lot of like subscribers come by. And so like, if you were there and uh, came by and like we got to meet you, like that was awesome. And, and a lot of really cool people out there. The next day after the happy hours and all that kind of stuff, I had a talk at the main tent and that went pretty well. We talked about electrical systems 101. Grace got some really funny pictures and videos of like <laughs> me looking like Spider-Man apparently. Uh, so that was entertaining, but I thought it was pretty well received, had some really good questions. And then Stephanie organized a bunch of classes for me to give uh, over the next few days. What were some of those classes that we did? Cut, strip, crimp, heat shrink workshops, wire and fuse sizing. We talked about differences between 48 volt, 24 volt, and 12 volt systems. I'm drawing a blank on the rest of them, but we had, a, I think we had about six workshops that we did in yeah. the tent. And they were, they were great. Uh, we had a few people come to pretty much uh, all of them, and we had a lot of dogs around. There were like lots of dogs in the tents, and that was pretty fun. I was not mad about that. We went around and we did some like system checks. Mm -hmm. So like people who were having issues with their electrical systems or just wanted to like check over them or anything like that, uh, went around and fixed a few systems. Mm -hmm. um, how, many, how many people did we end up like fixing their systems? I think we did about a dozen system checks and of those I think we fixed uh, about 10 of them. A couple of them we had to we had to refer them back to their user manual. A couple of them we need to follow up with. Yeah, and that was pretty good. I got paid in beer for about half of them. Uh, <laughs> I came back from, from most of them with a beer, so that was always nice. We shared a tent with some of our friends and approved installers of our installer network we just recently started, uh, Jewel Adventures. And it was a great dynamic. Uh, Grace was there with us. And so she was running around and getting all kinds of video content and pictures. And and it was just a great experience being there. And uh, we can't wait to go to another one like this. Do you have any other thing we missed? Uh, um, I think just the other vendors, you know, there were a bunch of other vendors there as well. And we got to network with some vendors that we had never interacted with before. Um, Outside Van was the title sponsor of the event and we got to chat with them for quite a while and it was really great just getting back into that, um, getting back into industry events, getting back out and doing events, promotional events like this. You know, that's something that we haven't been able to do over the last couple of years because of the pandemic and uh, it was nerve wracking to get back out there, but I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we got back out there and I'm so excited to actually do more of these going forward. Yeah, and you know, this was organized by Barefoot Theory, so special thanks to their team and uh, all the volunteers that made that possible. Also, a special thanks to Chad back there who's uh, fulfilling orders as we speak. Uh, you know, he kind of held down the fort here while we were gone and kept all the orders uh, from shop.explorers.life rolling out the door. And uh, that's, I mean, would have not been something we would have been that would have been possible, you know, prior to having such an awesome team here at Explorers Life. So, anything else? No, I think that covers it. Okay, well, sorry for not having a tutorial video out this week, but I uh, just wanted to check in and kind of give you guys an update and let you know why. And I probably have a shop to clean, and uh, I think we'll see you guys next week.